because I'm having an issue with my stoller and I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Um, it keeps getting an EO1 message and I've gone through the process of disconnecting the uh, negative on both of these uh, to try and reset the battery and that's not working. Um, it's working fine when I have sun on it and then I start using stuff and I get the EO1 message. So I don't know if my battery's going bad. And part of the problem of not doing this or not hooking everything up or doing the engineering or helping my dad when he was installing everything is I don't know how to fix it. So I gotta figure that out while we're out here because I don't really have another option. Um, I'm at a casino right now, so I actually have a plug-in which is helpful. But yeah, we're in the process of trying to figure out what's going on. I'm taking my bed apart because the battery is actually stored underneath the bed. So we'll get it, we'll get it worked out eventually. Charlie also has separation anxiety, so she has, I'm finding bits of the bed as I'm taking it out that she's chewed apart uh, when she's not been, when she's not been supervised or I've left her in the camper, so she has a little bit of separation anxiety. That's not good. That means I must have a window leak still that went unnoticed or the water's getting in somehow. That's lovely. Here's the tabletop I never ever see for the dining set. But another property of U Haul, not the same as always. Great thing. It's gonna have to come out. Pair of pants back there. bed so we're trying to get that cleaned up and then I'll take a look at the battery and see if I can find the disconnect somewhere but I just turned this around so it can dry out and then I'm gonna spray it down with I'll either go get some bleach or spray it down with some vinegar and hopefully that will just tide me over until I can get home and replace the foam or you know do whatever I gotta do to fix this so that's a whole nother project right now I'm just trying to fix the solar okay so let's walk around and look at the battery Alright, so here is where the bed normally is. I took it all out just so I can take a look and figure out what's going on with this battery, make sure everything's connected correctly, make sure there's no uh, disconnects in the wire anywhere. This is really hard when I didn't do it myself, like hooking everything up myself and putting the camper together in the solar with my dad. So, you know, this is something that I just got to figure out while I'm out here and it's on the fly and it's wet so that's not good and I don't know where that moisture has come from I went through two days of rain and that's when I started having trouble with my solar um, and it just didn't get the chance to recoup and now we're in this situation where I can't figure out like why it's not connecting because I'll I'll run it for about maybe five minutes before it shows on for the EO1 error and I don't know what's causing that but also, with the bed being disassembled, I can kind of show you guys where the seam of this camper is. You can see the little cutout that we used for the floor. This is what it looks like underneath my bed with my bins and my storage. This is where the seam runs all the way up the camper. And that uh, carpet is what helps insulate that seam because I can touch the roof with the sun on it. It's pretty, it's pretty warm. But... Um, these are okay insulated. I mean, it's not like a normal camper with insulation. It just, you know, the fiberglass is great. It's fun, but temperature control, it's not fantastic. I also have just a little, a little bit of damage here to the fiberglass, and I don't know what caused that. I'm sure it's repairable, but, you know, we're going on these back roads and stuff. I'm sure stuff bounces around in here and causes some damage while we're while we're in tow and then I've got another spot on the other corner of the fiberglass and a small crack right here that's starting so I, I think it's all you know stuff that I can repair down the road but we're gonna try and keep it in as good a shape as we can it's just you know fun stuff okay so let's see what we can see connected. I may have to stop filming so I can call my dad because I'm not not the best with these things and I don't know. Okay, let's see. I'm going to go back and look at that. You 
you guys see all the dust? That's from going down all those back roads. Somehow I'm sure it worked its way into the camper, but. This stuff has become uncrimped with all the wiring down here, so I'm just trying to see if everything looks like it's still, still going well. Maybe the battery's just bad. I mean, it's, it's a four-year-old battery, so we're kind of at that point where it might not be working so well. But he said to follow all the red wires to make sure that they're crimped into place. Let's see if I can take, yeah, let's take that bucket out. Oh, look at all this other handy dandy work he did. I don't know where I've got the camera angled. Let me double check and make sure y'all can see that. But like I said, my dad's amazing. And um, I'm grateful for all the work he did to the camper so that I could enjoy it. It just would be nice if I knew what I was doing. So here we are <laughs> trying to figure it out. I'm just gonna go through all of the red wires that run through the, um, whatever that, the whatever, I don't even know what that is. Yep, here, <laughs> Jeez. good Lord help me. But yeah, all of the wires look like everything is running just fine. I don't see like where there's any, loose connections, but I'm going to go through and check everything to make sure that nothing has come unhinged and that it all looks secure. So. Okay, so let's see. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's a Let's see if I can get an error message again if I turn everything on. Rupert, he's in where the fuse box is. Just because it's an open area so he decided that this is fun let's go jump in the fuse box area he has to check out everything no Rupert you can't go in these holes no let me get him out <laughs> so this is the fuse box that's underneath my um, big tall cabinet so um, here we are trying to figure that out. This is just a spare light. It's just a place to store it so it doesn't get hurt, but I'm going to go through and check to make sure that all of those wires are crimped in properly, that nothing has come loose while I've been traveling. Um, I've flipped this breaker. I also have this other breaker up here and I've flipped that, made sure that they're all working. I have also Rupert paw print. He's going to get himself hurt. That's not good. Um, I had to get him out of here. He was being a pain in the butt. And then I've got these that I flipped just to check to make sure there wasn't dirt in the connection somehow, keeping it from connecting properly. And then there is my whatever that is. My dad told me what it was. Y'all, I'm not good with this stuff. So here's somebody who has no clue how any of this stuff works trying to fix a problem. It's even, it's probably triple frustrate, you know, triple level of frustration trying to figure all of this out, but makes you want to learn it so that I know it, so that I don't have a problem the next time and I can just figure it out. So I sent my dad some pictures and he's going to get back with me just to make sure that we're on the same page. I just took a picture of the battery. I took a picture of everything going on down there and just followed it around. I'm going to lift up this box because I forgot that this box actually comes out too but I haven't seen it in a while, so I don't know what's down there because, you know, the stuff, like when you're going down uh, graded dirt roads and stuff, it gets a lot of wear and tear. Just old stuff, that's all. Nothing really that gross about it, just a little dirt. God made dirt, and dirt don't hurt, right? Let's see here. Looks like, oh, good God. Oh, so this is how it all works. Oh, okay. I wish I cared a little bit more. I only care when it doesn't work. <laughs> it is pretty. There's not a way to really get stuff very easily. But everything looks like it's still connected. Hmm. All right. I'm going to go plug it in real quick and see if these lights will light up like they're supposed to. What lights is telling me to look for? I don't even know. All right. Let's see. Let's see what it's looking for. Call my 
dad back and let him know I don't see any lights on the box he's talking about. I'm plugged in. I'm going to go through and do a thorough check and get my, everything's tight. Now that's right here over the wheel well, that bucket that I lifted up, that's perfectly good storage space. I just can't get to it regularly with that thick foam on top. So I leave it empty because I don't want to have to disassemble my bed anytime I need to get something out from underneath the bed. Those thick pieces of foam are difficult. But I need to do it more often because I discovered moisture down there and we're about a week out from when we had rain. So it's leaking in somewhere and I'm not sure where it's coming from. I just unplugged from electric and I am going to start my Mac stand, which I'm also having issues with that I'm going to have to fix when I get home uh, because it's popping on me and that there's something to do with this little piece right here. You can reorder that part. It's uh, either worn out or something. So it goes through this cycle where it pops a few times and then it stops. That's why I have this breaker here so that I can turn, cut the power to it if it starts acting up and that way each part of my camper that works off the solar I can cut the power to uh, in case I'm having problems with it and everything else functions okay so uh, that's a really nice thing that my dad did right there <laughs> um, but anyway I talked to him and I've gone through and I've popped these breakers a couple times just to make sure that there wasn't dust in the contacts and um, everything looks like it's totally connected just fine and I went through and jiggled all the wires made sure everything was in there tight and um, I've popped those a few times just to make sure checked all my fuses jiggled them around just you know as an abundance of precaution but he said it is awfully dusty down here that's those dusty dirt roads I've been taking it down for four years now and then we are you know just systematically checking everything and I've got the max fan on high right now just to try and see if I can get an air message or if it will hold so that will tell me if I fixed the problem or not so last time it ran for about five minutes before I got an error message so we're unplugged right now from electricity just to see what happens and experiment while I have the time to experiment but I'm getting a good solar charge I mean 15.6 volts that's not bad I think I'm also over this solar panel to make sure that even when it doesn't have sun that it will hold from the battery or I'll get the air message a little quicker uh, to know if I need to troubleshoot some more or if I fix the problem. So underneath this box is where the water storage goes that hooks into the sink. So that is the water storage tank. <laughs> Look at this. 62084. Oh, that's so kind. I mean, I love old shit. Makes me happy, but yeah, so that's the water line and how it connects into the sink area and what it looks like behind the sink. Just a little bonus material there. And I'm going to start. Um, unhooking the battery. I'm going to try this one more time and see if I get an error message again with the solar uh, um, using the fan with it unplugged just before I start putting everything back. But I am going to start unhooking this and I'm going to find a carport parts store and check to see if the battery is still good because that might be the problem. So I just uh, text my dad and I said, should I take the battery somewhere and check to see if it's okay? And he said, yeah. Just to make sure I unplugged first, doing the fatherly thing to make sure I don't get electrocuted as I try to <laughs> unhook this battery. All right, so I'm going to go ahead. I've tried several times by throwing a blanket on the solar to see what it would be like at night, if it could hold a charge or not. And uh, it keeps giving me the error message. So I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the battery and see if I can figure out what's going on. I'm gonna find the right one. Aha, uh -huh, and we have a winner. First try. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. I'm a weenie. Every, I'm like, ow, that hurt. 
I just barely nicked my finger, but you can kind of sort of see it. Okay. Glad I have a little tiny tool kit. It comes in handy. These things are heavy too, I do know that. Oh, my washer. I don't want to lose the parts. So I'm going to put those in a specific spot so my little turd nugget of a cat doesn't get to them either. But yeah, I'm going to go take this. I'm going to repack the camper because I've got to leave it. And I've got to unhitch the camper from the car. And I'm going to see if I can figure out what's going on with this. And I'm just going to take Charlie with me so I don't have to set up the bed area because that's where she usually stays when we're when I'm out doing errands and those type of things. So, um, yeah. Yay. All right. Lift with your legs, not with your back. Lord, these things are heavy. There's what the bed platform looks like before I put the mattress back on. But um, yeah, you can kind of see how it all works. But that is the tabletop. I'm going to run to a uh, parts store and see if I can figure out if the battery's good or not. So I'm on my way. We just left the auto parts store, me and Charlie. Um, and the battery was bad, so I've got to replace the battery today, and that's a much easier task than what I thought it might have been, but that was my initial thought, is that the battery was bad, but um, after doing the full assessment, uh, that's what it was, and uh, we'll get it replaced, but I got a marine deep cycle battery that's, uh, it was $120, so that's not terrible, but every chunk of change uh, impacts the length of this trip, so. You know, you try and save as much as you can and then you quit your job and you travel until your money runs out. My money is getting closer to running out every experience I have like this, but it's so worth it. And I would do it all over again the exact same way. Not one thing I would change. It looks like I'm having a yard sale, but I have to move everything back out and then uh, to have access to the battery. But when I left, I didn't want to leave a yard sale around my camper, so I'm building up my yard sale again. can see Charlie's separation anxiety all chewed up. <laughs> That's her side of the bed in the corner. No, don't lay on that. Not on the concrete. Please don't. It's hot. Got this battery. We're going to see if we can make it work. It's fine. I'm going to finish cleaning it out. It is good to know that the battery was not good anymore. Oh no! Laundry day turned into a laundry day too. It's turned into a task task day because uh, now I have to clean it all up after we get it all settled. So it'll take me a little bit. I covered everything up before I left to make sure that Rupert didn't try to go down in the holes. He's not tethered right now, so I have to keep an eye on him because he's lounging in his little pineapple bed. Oh, let's hop to it. Get this baby in. Oh my goodness. Whew. Good Lord. Don't forget to lift with your knees, not your back. Ugh. That's almost, that's almost impossible to do, but. So the little battery box for you all, it, it just sits right in there and it's, what contains it. So let me get my tools. Okay. Ah. You gotta be smarter than the objects that you're working with. There we go. Okay. So I've got all of the uh, thingies, all of the, the uh, breakers flipped except to and from this thing. Do I need to put, that's all it's got there. I don't know if it needs that little washer. I gotta call my dad. I will, I only have one uh, device to film with. So let me call him real quick. So I wasn't recording, but all I did was make a command decision. There was some washers that went with the uh, 
uh, lug nuts and I wanted to make sure or the whatever those are called the nuts and I wanted to make sure that the washers I, I didn't know if I needed them so I was just calling my dad to see if I needed to put them on but I went ahead and did it because I was like command decision will do it it sparked at me so I flipped the breakers that are over there to make sure like whatever power was going to and from it and then we uh, right here my solar controller is working again so <clears throat> we'll see it says it's full I'm gonna go ahead and cover the solar again and go through the whole rigmarole uh, and see because it was a live battery but I'm still getting kind of like the same stuff on the solar controller. Well, we'll figure this out. Let me see what's going on. So I think I've got it. I have the uh, Max fan running again to see if I can get another error message or if that was it. But it looks, the little battery uh, symbol here is showing me that it's got two bars. So I don't want to run this new battery completely dry. So I'll probably let it charge up and then I'll do this again. So I just threw a blanket up there to cover the solar <laughs> just to test this out. But it looks like it's working okay. So I'm about to piece this camper and shambles all back together again and get her cleaned up. All right. So got the battery hooked up. Um, you know, that's easy peasy, but I'll tell you. Righty tidy, lefty loosey, just double check to make sure they're in there good and tight. Yep. And it, all of my, whatchamacallits, all of my breakers are on. So yeah, Advanced Auto Parts determined it was a bad battery. Or not Advanced, I'm sorry. Oh, Charlie's, uh, oh, oh, Charlie's, good God. O'Reilly's um, determined that it was a bad battery. So I went ahead and bought a new one. It's just a marine battery and, you know, that's part of the process. And then when I get home, all of this is getting cleaned out and cleaned up and it's just wear and tear after four years on the road. So, all right. Well, shoot. I forgot to put the battery box back on. some stuff today. Good job. Good job. Now I gotta try and put this back in there. So I'll show you the <clears throat> base of the foam. We got it in there. But yeah, this thing is snug, so it just fits in there. And I also discovered that, I said earlier, we have water damage. So I've got to figure out what to do with this when I get back and probably get it replaced. I have reassembled my bed. It's a little bit of a chaotic mess right now. I've got to take everything back out tomorrow to go run it through the laundry before we go to our next location. So I want to make sure I try and get everything done. But... This is holding strong. I've had it running for about five minutes now and it's still showing me the full charge with the sun on it. And I threw the blanket on there and it seemed to work just fine. So uh, we are doing well, or I am doing well and my pets are doing well. So we are doing well. Camper update. I slept with the battery running just fine last night and now we're at the laundromat trying to get everything cleaned up and uh, get ready for our next location and I had today just on backup in case there was something else wrong and I still had a plug in so I have one more night at the casino uh, just to make sure we don't have any more problems and everything's working just fine this morning so that makes me really happy I fixed the problem all by myself not knowing anything about it but you know these little these little wins along the way they part of the journey and it was a small problem but it's hard to tell when you don't have the right resources or knowledge on what you're doing and I feel like I made it through unscathed yeah so we'll be
heading down the road tomorrow and I'll feel secure at my next location. And yeah, I think that's about it. And if you guys like this video, please feel free to like and subscribe. I put the little buttons somewhere. I don't know how all this stuff works, y'all. I'm figuring it out just like I figured out my seller. So if y'all like what you saw, please feel free to like and subscribe. And I hope to see y'all down the road.